Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at thermal paste. We've got some Noctua NTH1, 3.5 grams, that's nine pounds, so 3.5 grams. We've got Arctic Thermal Compound MX2, this is around six pounds for eight grams. And then we've got some HY510 and that is four pounds for 20 five grams. We're using this ID cooling heatsink. It's probably overkill for this processor. We've got an i7 2600K running 3.5 gigahertz and we're just running CPU Z and stress test. Going to see what the sort of maximum temperature is for each thermal paste and see if there's much difference. So I've cleaned off the thermal paste off the processor and off the heatsink. Now I'm going to put on some thermal paste. Let's go for the HY510. Small dot in the middle. Hopefully that's in focus. And then we'll put the heating back on. Put the fan back on, boot it up and see what we get. I've not been running this thermal paste for long. This is the HY510. Um, we managed to hit 50 degrees, which is four degrees more than the MX2. Um, surprised it made such a difference. Um, but we're gonna keep it running for a little bit longer. See what happens next. And I think once we've uh, run this for a while. We'll see if um, switching over to the Noctua thermal paste will bring the temperature down. Okay, so we've cleaned the CPU and the heatsink and now we're onto the Noctua thermal paste. So we're gonna put a dot in the middle as per the last application and as per the instructions Oop. and then we're going to put heat sink on
with the Noctua demo paste we've got a maximum temperature of 47 and it seems to be sticking around 46, 47 and what we'll do we'll probably go back to the MX2 see what that does at this stage, you know, at the same sort of room temperature, etc. So I've got one taken at the beginning, one taken at the end. See if there's, you know, much difference. This does appear to be doing better than the HY510, which I guess you would expect. But let's see how the MX2 does. Okay, so putting. Arctic Silver MX2. I find this really difficult to open the um, screw cap on the end. Ends up being completely stuck. A nightmare to unscrew. So we'll put a similar size dot in the middle. And repeat the process. We're back onto the MX2 thermal paste. Um, 46 is the maximum temperature. I know I'm, you know, we're not seeing a massive difference between the MX2 and the Noctua thermal paste. Um, it's like t over twice the price, so maybe not really necessary. Unless, you know, you've got a, a system that gets much hotter than this. Hot environment, maybe. Might see a bigger difference. I've, I'm not actually overclocking this processor. Um, I just wanted to see what it would do with these three different thermal pastes. And basically, as long as you're buying sort of Arctic silver thermal paste, MX2, MX4... You should get good results. Um, maybe the bulk stuff HY510 if you're building a lot of um, low power, just bog standard processors rather than ones that get particularly hot, so it won't matter so much. But um, or if you you know changing heat sinks lots and don't want to waste money on the more expensive stuff, or maybe you're just testing systems testing out different heat sinks and things like that and just want to have some cheap thermal paste HY510 will definitely do a good job but um, it definitely performed worse than the Noctua and worse than the MX2 so the maximum we're seeing with this is 46 um, which is a little bit better than the um, a little bit better than the Noctua, but I'm sure that'll be controversial and um, 
no doubt someone will tell me they've got some super overclock processor and the Noctua thermal paste was better. And there's also the element of human error. You know, did I apply the thermal paste perfectly when applying it? I think I did a slightly better job applying this MXT thermal paste. Um, only slightly though, because when I took the heatsink off, it's still covering the main center of the processor uh, with the Noctua. So, yeah, there we go, thermal paste tested. Um, a lot of it's personal preference, you know. Why not buy Noctua if you want it? But if you want to save money and it's changing quite a lot, just go for MX2 or MX4, whatever's available in your area. And um, yeah, you can listen to the rain as we finish this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Click subscribe and like. Tell me what thermal paste you use on your system. Um, leave a comment. Share the video. Check out some of these YouTube shorts. And that's it. Alright. Uh, bye bye.